Hello friends, welcome to another lecture of classical mechanics. Here we're going to discuss how to obtain the Lagrangian equation of motion for an electrical circuit uh, consisting of uh, inductance L, capacitance C. Okay, so that means LC circuit, right? So before we start, please subscribe the channel, hit the thumbs up button if you like my videos, and also share with your friends and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded. And this is my Insta ID. If you want to follow, then you can follow me. Oda Lekhajit 123 Right, so now let's start Suppose we have an uh, We have an electrical circuit LC circuit So like this uh, As shown in the figure This is a capacitor Of capacitance C And uh, Inductor of inductance L Right inductor of an uh, of inductance L and uh, the current through this circuit is suppose I and charge is stored in the capacitance okay in the capacitor be Q let me take that way so in that case now you see so this is uh, uh, we know that Lagrangian we know uh, we know that Lagrangian L is equal to T minus V right where T represents kinetic energy and V represents potential energy but in this case so what we're going to take instead of this kinetic energy which is represented by half mv square mv square uh, that means half mv means we can write r dot square right so the dr by dt so instead of that we're going to take the energy of the inductor right so energy in the inductor so that is our T in this case that is given by half inductance L and I square into I square and we know that uh, I is equal to dQ by dt rate of charge flow that is the current right so which can be written as Q dot right so therefore so we can write T is equal to half L q dot square right we can write that way and uh, v and that v is equal to the energy stored in the capacitor right in the capacitor So energy stored by a capacitor that is the electrical energy that will be given by this expression v is equal to half q square by c generally we used to write the you know symbol for energy stored in the capacitor we we used to write the symbol for that energy actually u but here we are going to use v instead of u right so don't be confused so this v is not voltage here okay so now let me copy these two expression and let me go to a new slide so these are the expressions that we have got so therefore the lagrangian l is equal to t minus v so here is the t that is half l q dot square minus v is nothing but half q square by c that's what we have got right now so here the generalized coordinate will be q in this case q is the generalized okay and if that is the case then you know from euler's uh, lagrangian theorem 
we will get time derivative of partial l by q dot del l by del q dot minus del l by del q and that should be equals to a uh, equal to zero right so lagrangian equation of motion right so now from this expression what we will have uh, if we uh, differentiate l with respect to q dot partially so this term doesn't consist uh, l dot q dot so that's why derivative of this that's going to be zero and partial derivative of this that's going to be equal to half l 2 into q dot so 2 to cancels so what we have got l q dot so this square should not be written here l q dot sorry again i have written square so that should be l q dot only right and uh, if you differentiate this with respect to q only then del l by del q so this term doesn't contain uh, q it contains q dot so that's why derivative of this is gonna be zero in uh, with respect to q so if you differentiate this then what you gonna have minus half q square uh, sorry 2 into q by c that's what we're gonna have so 2 to cancels so we're gonna get minus q by c right so this is equation number one and uh, this is supposed to using 2 in 1 using 2 in 1 what we're gonna have we're gonna have time derivative so this is what uh, what we have got this so this is l q dot minus and this is nothing but minus q by c right is equal to zero so now let me copy this last step uh, and let me go to a new slide let me copy this just let, let me copy this okay so here is the last step we have got and so l should be taken out and derivative uh, because l doesn't change with time so derivative of q dot that's going to be q double dot right minus minus plus q by c is equal to zero so this is the required equation this is the required equation right so hope you have understood this thank you for watching see you in the next video